In this video, I'm going to be explaining how match quarters works out of the 3-3 cup formation against spread formations. This is the foundational video for learning everything you need to know about match coverage in Madden 23 because if you understand how quarters works against spread, it can help you understand how it works against other formations that you're going to face. Now, um, we're going to jump on the field here in practice when I'm in the 4-6 playbook. And real quick, we're going to be going over the 3-3 cub formation. Now, this cover 4 show 2 in the nickel 3-3 cub formation is cover 4 quarters. It plays exactly the same as cover 4 quarters does. So that's just, just trust me on that. I can prove it to you, but we're going we're gonna to go over how quarters works out of this. Now, um, if you want to get my entire match coverage defensive ebook, that is going to be linked down in the description. You can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks, gets you access to everything, including our match defensive ebook uh, that we release. I think that it's the best guide to understanding not only how match coverage works, but also how to tweak match coverage to make it play better for you. Now, the first thing we can do, especially if you're on next gen, is go into your coaching adjustments and set your zone coverage to match. If you're on current gen, you don't need to do this. If you're on next gen, you do need to do this, okay? Um, and then we're going to come out and cover four show two. But what I like to do is audible down to this from 3-3 three, three normal because we're going to get better personnel. So here we are, match coverage. Now, here's the basic rule set for match coverage. Uh, quarters is also known as mod sky. Mod stands for man on demand. These outside corners are playing what's known as man on demand, and the safeties are playing sky coverage. So essentially, what this basically means is match coverage. I also heard it, uh, I've heard it explained as delayed man to man coverage. Nick Saban would say it is zone man to man pattern matching coverage. But basically, the bottom line is. Every receiver on the field in match coverage has a number, and quarters is specifically known as a split field coverage. That basically means that on the right side of the field and on the left side of the field, they're playing essentially two different coverages. Now, this happens to be mirrored on both sides of the field, but in essence, this is the left side coverage, and this is the right side coverage. Now, this three-rec defender is kind of a key defender, which we're going to get to in a second, but three-rec stands for three-receiver hook defender. Now, what's also important to understand is the principle of match coverage, specifically quarters, is we're trying to get three over two triangles on defense. So if you look here, this can relatively easily show a triangle defense over here and this can relatively easily show a triangle defense over here now that's why this guy is kind of the key defender in the entire defense and it's where we're going to actually spend um with this specific defense where we're going to have our user defender at okay so we have three over two triangle on the left we have three over two triangle on the right and the coverage that they're playing is mod sky or quarters coverage so what this means is this triangle over here is going to play quarters over those two players. This triangle over here is going to play quarters over these two players. Now, the running back is actually in a two-by-two two formation going to be essentially the three-receiver hook. And in essence, what we're going to get here is the running back can run one of three or four routes. He can go to the flat on the right side he can go to the flat on the left side, okay? He can also cross over the middle of the field or run some type of seam read, okay? Now, the bottom line, as far as everything you need to know defensively, is these quarter flat defenders, um, they're going to take first to the flat on either side. So if the flats get over there, like let's say Kittle goes to the flat here, and let's say we get something like this. This is hypothetical. You're going to notice that that three receiver hook is going to be the person responsible for carrying that the fit, that running back vertical as well as the inside quarter. Now, what's also really interesting is again that man on demand concept in the numbering system of match. So the numbering system of match is basically this: we're going to number the receivers outside to inside. And again, remember, it's a split field coverage. So the left side is playing a coverage and the right side is playing a coverage. So on the left side, Michael Thomas is the number one receiver to the left. On the left side, Brown is the number two receiver to the left, right? That's a two by two set. 
Two by two just means two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. CeeDee Lamb is the number one receiver to the right. George Kittle is the number two receiver to the right. Remember, they're numbered outside to inside. Now, the running back is the number three receiver, okay, in the formation. And if the running back actually runs across the middle of the field, let's say he runs this crosser to the left side. I want you to watch how this, this all plays out. Let's say we run a, a little, um, little flood concept over here uh, to the right side. So let's say we run like a sail concept, okay, something like this. If you watch this running back, that three wreck is going to carry him and deliver him to the quarter flat defender. So right here, he's in the middle. Now you see when he crosses, you see there he's going to now be in the flat zone. Okay. So the three wreck defender or the, the third receiver is actually the third receiver to the left and the third receiver to the right based off of where the running back goes. The reason this is important to understand is because if that running back goes across the formation, like let's say we're playing a defense like this, and, and they're running that same concept, but we're going to be using in the middle of the field. If that running back goes across the field, we might be tempted to say, okay, you go across the field. i got to be back in here. And now that running back is wide open to the left side. Now, therein lies some of the challenges of the coverage. And really the, the key that I always talk about, the key principle that I think will make any match coverage 10 times better is very simple. Just come out in this defense and take that blitzing linebacker, we're gonna blitz our user, and we're gonna take that blitzing linebacker and man him up on the number three receiver. Now we have three over two triangles on everybody, and it doesn't matter if the running back runs over the middle of the field. Now our user has complete freedom in the defense, and what you're gonna notice here is running back's gonna be covered, the match coverage is doing incredible, and we're lurking in the middle of the field, okay? So if you want to 10 times your defense, 10 times your match defense in whatever formation you're playing, just man up that blitzing linebacker on the number three receiver and blitz your user, and you're going to find some pretty decent levels of success. Now, to the three over two triangles, I want to just explain what that actually practically does. Again, it's called man on demand. So what this means is if Thomas runs a vertical route, that's a route that's past 10 yards or so, seven to 10 yards, so a vertical route, could be a lot of things. Um, I'll give you an example. A post route is a vertical route. A dig route is a vertical route. A streak route is a vertical route, right? Anything vertical. If Michael Thomas, if that number one receiver runs past five yards vertical, that means that this defender right here is gonna take him in man coverage. So it's gonna convert it into man coverage, okay? Now the number two receiver, that's this quarter right here is gonna be relating to the number two receiver. So if, let's say, Brown runs a 10 yard corner, then it's the same basic principle. If he runs a vertical route, this defender is going to play him in man to man. Now, what's really important is this quarter flat defender's job is to basically jam that number two receiver and carry him and deliver him to that quarter and then take first to the flat, whoever that might be. So, in this situation, if both one and two run a vertical route, then that quarter flat is really going to kind of carry that vertical really high, and then he's going to come back down if there's some kind of shallow cross underneath, as you can see. Now, if number one, let's say number one receiver goes on like a post and they run a slant post concept like this, okay, then what we're going to get is now the number two receiver is not going to run vertical. So this guy is saying, okay, my man didn't run vertical. Now I'm going to look for work and I'm gonna to look to rob the post of one. I'm gonna to look to basically uh, double team that number one receiver if he runs in the middle of the field. So you see here, he looks, okay, not there. See how he robots back to the post and he's able to double team uh, the post. As you can see, very good, okay? Now what if the number one, what if the number one does not run a vertical route? What if he runs in a shallow or a hitch? Well, typically that's going to mean that you're going to have number two working back and outside to the corner, right? Like a smash concept. So now what you're going to see is if this guy's player runs a flat, then he's looking to, he's going to get a smash call and he's looking to rob the corner route. So you see here, nope, okay, back out. And now we got a double team on the corner route. That very basic system is how match coverage works against two by two sets. If you understand that basic principle, you can run quarters against anything. Quarters is designed to get triangles in your pass defense. What that does is it ensures that the offense 
is always going to have a essentially a capper in the defense and it limits the big plays that an offense can have if you're strategic with your match coverage we're going to teach you how to do that but if you want to really learn how to do that make sure you get in the patreon link is in the description 10 bucks to get you access to everything over there all of our match concepts and defensive ebook on that thanks for watching the video make sure to go join the patreon if you want to check out that uh, defense